Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Intermoney Stocks. Today is June 1st, 2016. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at the charts here, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading lower by 7 points to 2088 per contract. Futures are dipping ahead of the opening bell. We'll see what happens once the opening bell rings today at 9.30 a.m. We'll see where this market goes. But the one thing I will say is that yesterday we did, even though the volume was light, we did see a little volume pickup uh, for our first day back from the market being closed on Monday. So we'll see what today brings and we'll see where we go. But we have lots of stocks moving, lots of stocks in the news, and that's where we're hopefully going to make some money. All right, the first one we're going to look at today is going to be Coors. Michael Coors, ticker symbol is KORS. And what you're going to see here, stock is trading at $45.89, closed at $42.72 yesterday. So this is a pretty good little uptick for the equity this morning again we're not going to look to do a whole lot here but what we will look at is uh we'll look at this one once a pattern forms right after the opening bell but keep michael kors on the radar today this will be in play another stock we see here is going to be under armor stock is getting hit closed at $37.73. It is now trading at $36.40. What I'm looking at here for Under Armour is if it can decline further and get us down to around the $34 level, I think that's a spot where traders may be able to step in. So again, keep Under Armour on watch today. In sympathy to Under Armour, always going to be Nike. So keep that on the radar as well. Nike trading a little bit lower, but I do think Nike has a lot of support at these current levels next one on our list here is going to be Zoetis ticker symbol is Z O E S and what you're going to see here is that stock is trading around 3850 this morning closed at 3692 so a nice little pop there now this is going to hit some resistance here at these levels and then you have more resistance at 40 bucks and then ultimately around the 42 level so if you own Zoetis at this point in time you really just want to trail your stop loss I think that's your best play at the moment let's take a look at workday WDAY is the ticker symbol. Stock is trading at $73.99. Closed at $75.84 yesterday. So this is coming under a little bit of pressure. It looks like there's a fair amount of support at $70.50. So keep that on the radar if it gets down there. And we'll take a look at it once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at Land's End. Ticker symbol is LE. Right now, the stock is trading at 1561, closed at 1677. So, this is definitely getting hit. This is oversold already, but uh, still a weak equity. So, you want to be a little bit careful here. Um, because this was a spinoff from Sears, we don't have a lot of data to go off of. It looks like the stock debuted in 2014 in the month of April. So, there's this is a new all time low. So, you got to be a little bit careful here. But I don't know if it's going a whole lot lower from this point. So, keep it on the radar we'll look at it as well once the opening bell rings today next one on my list is going to be vra which is vera bradley what you're going to see here is the stock is trading at 1530 closed at 1530 uh, again we'll look at this one once the opening bell rings not a lot of pre-market moving let's take a look here at cracker barrel cb rl is the ticker symbol <clears throat> stock is trading at 158 dollars and five cents closed at 151.48 so this is a nice big pop but you are now nearing overbought conditions and you're also coming in, into a big triple top going back to the month of july so july 2015 so again um crack a barrel in my opinion is probably unlimited time on the upside here but it's been a very very strong stock I think they also increased their dividend as well so good move for Cracker Barrel today but the reality of it is you're into a lot of resistance here if you own a stock trail the stop loss if you do not own it I would not be looking to buy it up here at these levels let's take a look at Whole Foods WFM is the ticker symbol here nice little pop stock is trading at $33.19 uh, closed yesterday I believe at 32 285 looks like this is just a simple upgrade no more than that so be a little careful there stock is getting overbought at this point in time let's take a look at uh, DWRE which is demand wear 
and what you're going to see here is the stock is trading at $75 a share. It looks like it is being bought out by Salesforce. So again, Salesforce is buying demandware. Stock is trading at $75 a share. That is the takeover price, I believe. So if you own this, trail the stop loss. If you want to take your money off the table, you can. But do not be a buyer here of this stock up at these levels, even if it is going sideways. This is a takeover candidate. Let's look at Salesforce, CRM this morning. Usually that will go on, be underwater a little bit. And uh, that is the case today. The stock closed at 83.71. It is trading at 82.90 this morning. So again, uh, demandware being bought out by Salesforce, and it's a nice takeover. Uh, but nothing going on there with Salesforce this morning. Stock under pressure a little bit, and uh, that's typical after a big buyout like it had. Let's take a look at some of these uh, foreign banks. We're going to go to Deutsche Bank first, big European bank there. Stock right now is trading at 1745, closed at 1780. So this is under some pressure. Credit Suisse, ticker symbol CS, that bank is under pressure. So you're seeing some of the European financials under pressure. And again, futures are lower ahead of the opening bell. And that's de certainly part of the equation there. All right, let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold is trading up $1.60 to $1,219 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD this morning, you'll see that's trading at $116.23. Gold is trying to find a little bit of a bottom here. It's had a great pullback recently. If you've been a member within the money stocks, no surprise there. But um, again, we are oversold in the gold market at this point in time. Let's go over to the crude market. Crude is trading down 61 cents to $48.48 a barrel. If you take a look at the all-important USO, which is a good oil ETF, you'll see this is trading at 11.74, closed at 11.87. So oil is down ticking as well this morning. And again, oil, in my opinion, is into a ton of resistance at this point in time anyway. So we'll see where it goes. We'll see how it plays out, and we'll just take it one step at a time. All right, with that being said, everybody, if you want to come over, trade alongside of us, take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You'll see what it's all about there. We're having a sensational 2016 in the chat room, and we're going to look to keep that going today. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great session, and we will see you on the charts.